The Today Manufacturing Podcast offers a powerful and unique perspective on the biggest stories impacting U.S. manufacturers. Anna Wells, David Manti, and Jeff Ranke apply their experience as editors of industry-leading brands Manufacturing.net and Industrial Equipment News in providing in-depth analysis of the latest headlines. Their insight, along with a mix of humor and human interest, makes Today in Manufacturing a go-to source. Keep pace with supply chain challenges, electric vehicle developments, labor struggles, robotics, and more by listening, downloading, and subscribing to the Today in Manufacturing podcast. Demand for the Toyota Mirai, an electric vehicle that runs off of a hydrogen fuel cell, must not be strong because the automaker is practically giving them away. According to Ward's Auto, Toyota recently issued a $40,000 sales incentive for the second generation Mirai that normally sells for $52,000. That price is already significantly lower than the cost of a 2017 Lexus Hybrid with 71,000 miles that I found on Carfax for $21,000. As the report points out, the Mirai also includes $15,000 in complimentary fuel. So when you factor that in, it's like Toyota is paying you $3,000 to drive a Mirai for six years, which is how long you have to use up the free fuel package. Of course, there are limitations with the Mirai. For one, it's only sold in California, and as Ward's notes, Toyota dealerships in the state are not stocking the Mirai in large quantities. And then there's finding hydrogen to fuel the thing. Shell once had grand plans to build a hydrogen refueling network in California that would serve lightweight consumer vehicles. The company had even received millions in grant money from the state, but last year it canceled plans to build 48 hydrogen refueling stations, and this year it shut down nearly all of its light-duty hydrogen refueling stations due to, quote, supply complications and other external market factors, according to Hydrogen Insight. On paper, The Toyota Mirai is a great vehicle. It gets 402 miles of range and its only emissions are water. But given the limited infrastructure in place to support it, it may be just a little ahead of its time. I'm Ben Munston and this is Manufacturing Now.